in 1999 on this day, the world changed due to the mass killing of 13 people by two teenage boys who then killed themselves at Columbine High School in Colorado. Before this incident, schools had had their violence, other mass shootings, rapes, kidnappings, etc., but none of them had the gravitas of the Columbine Massacre, at least not in popular culture. And it was this popularization of the killings that led to more killings as the kids did it for fame. Yes, fame. The second greatest tool of the demiurge who runs everything on this earth. His first tool? Religion. With the Columbine killings, division between the rich and poor has become more pronounced than ever. The rich, backed by profiteering churches and egotistic politicians, have used the school killings as a need for more programs called vouchers, which takes public school money from our kids and diverts it to divisive, private, privileged, and religious schools. And all in the delight of the demiurge, as we the people become we the privileged. Yes, now I hear what you're saying. Without a public school system, okay, we're fucked. But what is esoteric about that? Good question. Well, my dear initiates, as with most things esoteric, if you open your eyes to see, you will see the Demiurge's markings, for he leaves his evil clues for us in all he does, for it's his way. And the Columbine Massacre is no different. For example, in 1896 on this day, the first commercial movie was played at the Biles Music Hall in New York City by a Vistoscope projector. A few years later on this day, 1909, Mary Pickford, the first Hollywood megastar, starts her first movie. And by 1916, she is the sweetheart idol of all moviegoers. Then, in 1926 on this day, Western Electric, along with Warner Brothers, announces Victaphone, the process of adding bullet sounds with voices to the movies. And of course, in 1999, two teenagers with guns act out their favorite scenes from that year's box office smash, The Matrix, a movie where a man in a trench coat, as the Columbine boys were wearing that day, shoots more people than had ever been shot in a movie before, and all for fame, or better said, the demiurge. The final fact to consider is that all this happened on the same day that in 1889, the demiurge's favorite son was born, Adolf Hitler, which will always mark April. 20th as a special day for evil. So what to do? Well, the answer is simple. Hands up. That's right. You can either go into hiding and get rid of all your earthly belongings and try to go unnoticed by the demiurge as monks and priests have done for centuries, or you can do as religions, mystics, and mediums have done since the beginning of time and find a protective charm. And as charms go, there is no one more useful against the demiurge than the Hamza which means five in Arabic, but predates the advent of Islam by a thousand years. In ancient Mesopotamia, it was the hand of Ishtar. To the early Christians, it was the hand of Mary or Eye of Providence, which can still be seen in the U.S. dollar bill. And to the Hebrews, it was the strong hand of God, as pointed out in Deuteronomy 5.15. Lucky Five was widely worn as a pendant or worked into jewelry and fabrics as a decorative feature, and this highly stylized hand was believed to ward off the evil eye. It is the most common symbol from old times, but one that is hardly used today. And as a result, my friend, evil has run rampant with control over our governments and religions. So create yours today, or if you prefer, place your hand over the screen on mine and make a wish. Not only will your wish come true, the evilness around you will run in fear as it has always done from our first encounter with light. <laughs> <laughs>